Greetings and welcome back to SmartWatchSticks.com. You've been following along with us. I know we have been looking at the new COSPET 2024 line of smartwatches and we have already reviewed the T3 Ultra, a round, exquisite, ruggedized design smartwatch. Same design in the rectangular M3 Ultra. These guys have got GPS and all kinds of stuff for outdoor activity like altimeters and compasses and stuff. If you don't need all of that, these are the basic models. The Tank T3, which we just took a look at. Round version, very similar to the Ultra. And inside this box, the Tank M3 rectangular shape that we are going to take a look at right now. You can pick this watch up directly from the COSPET official store. Use the link bit.ly bit.ly slash COSPET Tank M3. It's our exclusive link. And check the show notes for a special coupon code that you can apply with this at checkout. It's in an early bird discount phase right now, March, April 2024, for just under 100 bucks. Uh, but check it whenever you're watching the video as we're going to try to get you the best price possible. Yeah, I forgot to show you, but it has these tabs that you pull off, and I already pulled them off and have had this one out, setting it up with data and exploring it for you. Wow! And then packaged it back up to put it inside of uh, its uh, protective case here. We've got a little sleeve. All of them come with this. You pop that off, and you reveal the module. Now, by way of comparison, check it out. This is more the... Um, gunmetal look and this is a black look on the ultra the buttons are a bit different in color yeah this has got a little orange highlight in it whereas this one has a silver highlight up there can you see that so the module is the same basic thing but just slightly different uh overall colors and whatnot so it's the same thing on the back uh, very very nice and i wanted to take a moment and take a quick look at how the tank m3 compares with last year's tank m2 first of all the processors are different the size is different it's a larger screen with an amoled 410 by 502 quality corning glass uh gorilla glass cover on it as opposed to a much smaller simpler screen You've got a larger battery. You've got a better body. You've got liquid silicone um, skin-friendly band on this one. Many, many other things in here. 170 sport modes compared to 70 from last year. This now supports dynamic watch faces. All four of these do. And downloadable screensaver watch faces because it's an AMOLED screen. Where is it up here? Anyway, uh, it's got all of that going for it as well, and the new COSPET Fit app. Now, last year's Tank M2 also supports COSPET Fit, but you can't do multiple device connections. As you'll see, we can connect all, of, all four of these now directly to the same app, the COSPET Fit. Inside the box itself now, we've got... Same as before, these exquisite bands. And look, they're the same bands as on the Ultra. You've got the same charging dock that the module just simply slides into and just about holds on to it. <laughs> if I don't turn my finger. And again, you got the kit inside of here for putting on a glass screen saver, if you'd like. And then the uh, stuff that you use to put that thing on your watch. And the overall Tank M3 module, we'll page through this really quickly because we've shown basically the exact same module on all of the other watches. Uh, slightly different uh, information. Of course, the pictures are different. They're the rectangular rather than the round. But all of the buttonology is the same. The back button, at least on the um, Tank line directly, the up and uh, down button on this one so forth yeah all right now i'm going to clear everything out and we'll run through this watch and just like on the m3 ultra we press the top right one that says uh, select the button here you have select it just vibrated back and then up and down over here and it opens up and lands into its opening watch face and we are ready to go now as i mentioned before the only real basic differences between um, the ultras line and the tank direct line 
are the missing things like GPS and compass and such. Here you go into the always on screen that's available to you. This can be set up to match the watch face that you've got installed. You can cover it to turn it off if you have that feature turned on. And you can have a twist your wrist to light it up if you've turned that on. All four watches support that. Uh, when we get down here, you've got the same uh, layout with the basic same type of um, controls and the ability to add up to four of them, the ones that you can hit the minus on. If you want to take those out, you could substitute these four or switch them around any which way you want to. These other stock ones will stay, though. Uh, when you get into your overall settings, you can change the watch faces on here. And in order to do that, I want to show you what it looks like compared with this one. And again, you can press and hold to get into changing the watch faces. This is the Ultra. This is the Tank M3 directly. And we are going to start on the first watch face on both of them, which is right here. And this is uh, the one that comes on the Ultra. You've got a couple of other ones like that one, which matches this one. So the first watch face is a little different. Then you've got this basic same one. However, notice it, it's a bit different. Uh, yeah, you've got analog and digital here. On this one, you've got the little clock up in the corner. And a little bit different layout. Here's that first one. Is that the same? Sure enough. Look at that. No, no, it's a little bit different. But similar, very similar. So they have mixed and matched the watch faces a little bit on you here. There's the custom or the uh, animated one. When you touch that one, you see the bubbles will move around. You can't, oh yeah, you can. You can pop them by touching them if you want to. So that's fun. And then you have the uh, custom watch face too that in the app, you can change out the background picture and change things around to your liking. You also have custom faces that you can put in, downloadable from the app. And these are a couple of the downloaded faces that I put on each of these watches, but only one. And then again, you have the ability to change the always on. Oh, this is tricky. I got them both set up to cover and you can turn them off. These are custom uh, always on faces that are also downloadable from the app separately from the actual faces. Whew, lot to cover there. Now, just like on the ultra version of this, you have an up button that will slide you up. You can come down here and then you can come down again. And this is the same as sliding up to go down to all these different cards that you can put uh, or that are default in here. You can rearrange the order, take some of them out if you want to, uh, whatever you'd like. But they are in here. You have an always running capable stopwatch in this one as well. Ladies, you can set up your uh, ladies health information and tell you exactly where you are in your cycle. Uh, you can put in timers and edit. Then, of course, let you rearrange them by moving them up or down and delete any of them if you'd like to that you don't want. They're calling these the shortcut cards. Come back out of here. The bottom button now is programmable to whatever you want. I put the flashlight on this one, so you've got a nice bright flashlight in here. And then finally, when you tap the top button, you get into all of your apps. And these are very similar uh, in, in fact, they're identical to what's in the Ultra except the ones that are missing. So you got your calling for Bluetooth calling, contacts, uh, call logs, keypad. You can set up an SOS uh, emergency number if you want to. Your daily activities and workouts and workout records. And again, the workouts now, all these things like runs and walks, the outdoor stuff, they will uh, tie to the app, but because you don't have a GPS module in this one, you won't have the track up here um, like you do with uh, uh, with the Ultras. Then you got heart rate and sleep and blood oxygen and stress. By the way, on any of these, I can tap here, go into the whole display, but check this out. If I come back and I go down here and I go into each of these, I can tap on them and get the exact same display that will show up. There's the 24 hour blood oxygen. Um, there's stress here. And that's what we just looked at, right? So you can get to them through here. You can get to the shortcut cards and tap on them and get to the same place. Didn't know that, did you? That's why you got to watch each of these reviews. There's little tidbits in each of them. I'm learning from, uh, 
<laughs> Taylor Swift and how she lays little Easter eggs and gives you something different in each uh, each one of her releases. Works well, huh? Music player. Yeah, we've got the music player in here. You can control the volume, set it up. You can stream the music from your phone directly through the watch, and it's good and loud. We've demoed that before. By the way, the best review to watch of all four of these is the T3 Ultra, the first one, because I go into way deep detail on all of these different aspects of the watch, so you can catch up and just watch that one, and we don't have to do a lot of repeat. Uh, women's health, again... You have the display showing you where you are in your overall cycle, and you can scoot through for advanced planning if you want to, check dates and things. Uh, all of that is available. And finally, we're back into settings. We were just changing the watch face, but you got the same language selections, the always on display to either follow the current one or put in a custom one that you can use from the face gallery. These are stock ones that are installed, but you can also download uh, different ones if you want to. When you follow the current one, it'll take uh, the, the face that matches uh, when you're selecting any of the stock faces too. Oh, and one more thing on themes you've got. Now, themes are for the different ways you see your apps. I always go with list, but look at this. You've got a huge selection, whatever suits your fancy. Of course, you've got to memorize the icons, uh, most of these, because you don't get the words. But I find the listing easy to go through because we've got it chronological for doing a, a, a review. Automatic sports recognition is available on this. Programming that bottom key, which right now I've got set for the flashlight. But if you wanted to do uh, breathing exercises instead, tap it. You're in here. Set your duration and pace. Start. And it'll give you a countdown. We haven't checked this on any of them. On what it does when it's doing this, you see the circle inhaling? It just vibrated. I always like to let you know if you get the vibration or not, and it vibrated again. Why the vibration is important is sometimes you may want to just close your eyes and do the breathing exercises in silence and, and um, no vision. Uh, without it, you have to look at the wheel, you have to look at the screen to know when to inhale, when to change. But this has the vibration going. So that makes it nice to use while you're driving, but paying attention. Now close your eyes then. But if you're watching the road, you could feel the vibrations going on and off and kind of guide, guide yourself through that way. And now that's my uh, programmed uh, down button. So all of that stuff is available in here. The system menu is just, you know, shut down, restart, power off, uh, all those kind of things. And then about the watch tells you a little bit about it too. So, wow, uh, let's take a quick look at the app on this one. It's the special Cospet Fit app designed and made for the specific Cospet watches, the ones that we're looking at. You download it, you install it, and you open it. You set up an account if you want to, or you can go in and use it even without an account. You pair your watch to it. We'll show you a little bit about that in just a minute. And then you'll land on your home page. Now, here's today's data. I've got step count on here. Shows you when the steps were taken during the hours. Some basic information hour by hour about that. You've got heart rate. Now, you notice this big gap right there? I purposely took the watch off for two hours showered and cleaned up and got dressed and whatnot and I left it off for a while. I wanted to see what would happen. It doesn't drop all the way to zero. It holds at the last reading and it picks up when it gets the next reading. So you just see a straight across line. But it's not giving you fictitious measurements bouncing all over the place. Last night's uh, sleep, here I was doing some activity and resting and so forth. You get heart rates going up and down. Broad range of them. And then here's your uh, zones that you uh, are in throughout that whole testing period in percentages. And more about what heart rate is, uh, is up to. You come back over here to last night's sleep time. You get the full-on chart. And it's broken up into these different colors where the uh, yellow is awake. And notice it changes to blue when you touch it. Uh, to show you which one it's talking about. REM sleep is up here, uh, and that's your dream state sleep. Uh, you get down into light sleep here, and then deep sleep is down here. So you see all of that. They're color-coded to show you how many minutes and hours and minutes you're in each one, and then a circle that shows you about that. It lets you know how your sleep was in terms of all these different categories, and then um, your sleep quality analysis and tips about it too. 
So you got blood oxygen every uh, hour. It's taking a reading. There's the two hours I missed, and then it bopped back up again, 98%, 97%. Uh, not sure why, and the consistency. Let's just hope that I'm breathing better after I took my shower. Probably true. And then stress. Here's the stress bopping around. The color changes if you're very easy or normal or moderate or high. And again, a circle showing you the percentage of time you're in all these different stress uh, potential zones. Uh, and that's it. You can edit these cards, take them out, rearrange them and whatnot. If there's any hidden ones, they'll be down below and you can bring them back up. You got temperature forecast in your area. You go into there. It gives you a lot of uh, weather information. Your sports area, you can activate any of these. And like I said, when you have the phone with you with your watch and you're doing outdoor run or walk or outdoor cycling, you can get the track uh, because of the GPS in your phone paired together. If you have the Ultra, you don't need to take your phone with you. You get the GPS directly in the watch, and then that'll transfer over. Um, if the price difference isn't uh, too large and you prefer that, that's something to consider as a distinction between the M3, M3, I'm sorry, M3 Ultra or the Tank M3 or the T3 Ultra and the Tank T3. Exercise records will be shown up in there if you've got any. Here's the actual device connected. And that when I touch that, this is what they're talking about. This is the current watch, but I could just hit switch and it'll immediately switch over to any of these other three or more if I have other watches added that pair with this app and support that. Now, the earlier Tank T2 uh, and M2 don't have the circuitry and electronics and firmware, apparently, to be able to uh, join the list uh, of of uh, additional watches. Uh, it has to be one of the current uh, units that you can add that will let you uh, actually switch between them. You can do a QR code scan or you can add it directly through a Bluetooth connection. Either way, that's how you set it up. The watch face gallery, we showed you a little bit. These are the always on displays uniquely that you can choose and you can set those to go on on any watch face if you want to, whatever it looks like, it times out, that's what you'll see or that one. Um, and they're completely separate from your actual app uh, faces that are available here. And by the way, some of these faces are um, touch sensitive. I'll show you that in just a minute on our last face here. But you've got some multifunctional dials, simple, mechanical, business, and so forth. This one I've seen uh, or I used on the, um, the uh, Ultra the M3 Ultra, so they're the, pretty much the same uh, watch faces. Oh, oh, and guess what? This was the watch face that I showed you. That's a custom watch face. There it is that I downloaded to this watch. But watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Come on, let me come into your change mode. There we go. This is also a custom face that I downloaded. So I've got two of them on here. I've been telling you guys you can only put one on, and then it has to switch that one out. Well, on this particular watch, I got at least two. Perhaps in an upcoming video, I'll tell you how many you can actually get on each watch. I hope you're subscribed. Yeah, good. Okay, that's the watch face gallery stuff. Then we've got all the other things that are exactly the same, and we've covered this in the apps uh, on the other reviews. So just to show you, they're all here. Set up your SOS call, update the watch, unbind if you want to, and then me tells you a little bit about you if you log in create your account um fitness information here's another place you can add a device or it's telling you the current one your overall profile goals ladies there's your calendar for the menstrual stuff you all uh, you need to just fill out these three items and it can figure everything out for you from there and um other things customer support system settings which are basic updates about and so forth so um yeah very similar to all the other watches that use this particular app and it does a really nice job of capturing your data so what do you think of this one yeah i know we're still a bit confused there's just so much to each of these watches this is a particular watch face that has that touch capability set alarms check your weather get into your phone calling if you want to. All these little buttons are available for you. Uh, so it's got 
animated watch faces and custom ones, all kinds of things. But there are some definite differences between this and the Ultra. To go over them specifically for you, let me show you this chart. This is comparing the Tank M3, okay, with the Tank M3 Ultra. Now, as you can see, most of these categories that are listed here, the CPU, the screen, the battery, they're identical. The listings in both of them are the same. Even the strap is the same. Where do they differ? Here's 170 sports modes. It's the dynamic watch faces. They differ down here, GPS. The Tank M3 doesn't have it. And it's not mentioning it, but it also does not have the compass or the altimeter barometer sensor in it either. Whereas this one supports six dual frequency GPS systems. And there you go, as well as air pressure, altitude, and compass functions. Uh, but they're both got the same um, hardening. They are both MIL standard 810H certified. So really, uh, the only major difference is all of this uh, out, outdoor adventurer function stuff. By the way, because this is in here, it will eat a little bit more battery power and make the device a little heavier. So if you really don't need it and don't plan on using it, in addition to saving some money, you'll probably get a little bit better, longer life uh, out of the, the Tank M3. In terms of my recommendation, I think it's a winner. It's a really nice watch. You've got different uh, bodies that you can get, different colors and whatnot. Later, when we com compare all four of these together, I'll show you the different body styles and colors um, that they come in. In the meantime, this is a really nice one, uh, a Tank M3. You have the four buttons, two on the side for your up and down functions, which is great. And of course, your select over here, and you can come into whatever you set the uh, back button to be. The, the band is uh, really great. It's, it's a winner. And once again, it's available directly from Cospet's official store using a special link we've got here at smartwatchticksbit.ly slash Cospet Tank M3. It's about 100 bucks right now in its special promotion phase. Check the show notes um, for a special coupon code. You can apply with that link and bring the price down if it's outside of that window anytime you happen to be watching this video. That's it for today. Appreciate you being here and checking these things out. You've now seen all four of the new Cospet uh, round, rectangular, ultras, and standard smartwatches. Now we're going to be doing some final comparisons in the upcoming videos.